Hey guys, welcome back to Beard Cadix Garage for another episode of Project Tourat, episode 3, I believe. It's still easy to track at this stage. In today's episode, we are basically doing the big mouth on the side that wrapped around the front arch. I'm terrible at hand painting, so I'm going to do it via masking and to try to attempt to at least get the general shape symmetrical on each side what I'm going to do is basically use a bit of rope that I can tie at various points and let it hang to basically give me the shape I want and then I can mask all around that and paint and then do the teeth etc etc but anyway I'll show you a step by step and obviously the end result if you don't want to see me work use the chapter to go see the end result that's fair enough and just before I get going with this I'll go around I've actually spray painted a few bits and bobs around the car so I'll show you quickly before I get cracking with the rope and this basically we've got now a little tag here welcome to hell since that's a Banksy here for now we've got a little anarchy sign and I've cleaned up on the scratch jet I still need to basically, uh, yeah, rust it up. Yeah, and I've put the plate back at the rear. I've actually ordered the new plate, uh, the new number. So I'm waiting for the paper, and when that comes in, I can order the new plate. But yeah, as you can see, on purpose at an angle on the side, you might recognize it like that. Normally, it's got red balloons there, but I basically used it so it looks like you know, attached to the side of the car and being dragged basically, which I thought was funny. And here at the front, also it's not going to stay for now, but yeah, we've got this one. Mind you, it's possible I put it back once it's roasted or raw or a mix of both. And I've attached my 3D printed punisher at the front, which just a zip tie, but it does all right. Here at the front, see, you do have a patch here and here. It's quite funny, it's basically the patch where it's really smooth and covered that you see. Not too bothered again, this will get stripped. And I don't know, maybe looking at the line, maybe you can have a mix of rust and raw. We should see. Anyway, let's get going with this. This is what we've got so far. This side, very easy to do. The tricky part is getting this side to look smooth. It looks smoothish. You know, I mean, I can refine it after when I mask it. But you know, again, it's all right anyway. So I think that's actually good enough. And like for the grain, I'm not going to think twice. I'm just going to mask, commit to it, and uh, yeah, hope it looks good when we're done. All right, this. Is masked. And colors we've got. It's another overhaze basically. All matte. Couldn't find matte, so I just took red primer, which does a job. You're in the I'm coming to help. Uh, should we crack on? The cat says yes. Cut of black is on. The weather is unfortunately a bit crap and I don't have much paper so I think I'm actually going to do one side in full at the time so let it dry then put some red for the tongue let it dry then mask and do the teeth and then basically do the same on the other side but yeah this is where I wish I could paint by hand because this would be a lot easier it's actually a bit time consuming to do the masking but never mind no pain no gain I was bored waiting for that side so I've actually started masking this side I think it's very close I think just here I come up slightly higher up but let's be honest it's a mouth the left side and the right side are not always symmetrical even on humans so not a problem just going to like refine the little rounded hair and then cut off black as well on the other side 
And I've also put the red for the tongue, kept it simple, a lot of them, just a basic line, but yeah, it will make a lot more. Alright, as you can see it's late, somebody is not leaving me alone because they're hungry, but I've sort of done the masking, a lot of masking tape for the teeth, and as usual, I have no idea what the result is going to be like, but I'm just going to send it. Alright, done another coat. Considering the amount of light we have, I'm thinking, I don't know, I kind of want to unveil it tonight, even though we will look at it better tomorrow. But yeah, I just really want to see if it's looking good or terrible. Well, it looks like crap. Can't believe I spent my afternoon on that stupid pants over there. Actually, pulling the paint. See? I'll remove the masking tape here. Pfft, all the paint's gonna be there. That bloody white is useless. And look, the worst bit is even the black paint. <laughs> I guess you get the patina effect, isn't it? It looks old already. But yeah. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow during the day. Let's see, overall. I mean, overall, I don't think it's too bad. Not sure. Should have maybe rounded the thong a little bit. But yeah, really not pleased with that pent lift it off. You know, because obviously, nice to have some patina, but yeah, we see tomorrow during the day. Okay, so we have the next day. And as you can see, overall, it doesn't look too bad until you get close, which kind of makes it look used a bit but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to actually use a brush or do some of the teeth on i think the other side i'm just going to do it by hand as well it's the overall shape i was worried about so the teeth and stuff will be easier to do with the brush and what i'm going to do is pass over all of them as well so that they all look nice and hand brushed and then i'll do the other side Otherwise, you can sort of see what we're going for, though. And uh, yeah, and maybe just slightly more rounded over there. If you can touch up a bit, it should be easier by end. But anyway, I'll crack on. Okay, we are back in business, guys. I've knitted up a bit, and then the missus come and help with a better pencil as well, and just better at doing fine line and stuff. And you know, at least here you've got a feel that it was hand painted everywhere. But it is nice and consistent. I mean, up here could have been slightly more rounded, but yeah. Now we are talking. And while she was doing that, same story on the other side. Would be a bit long to redo them all. But yeah, spray paint. Cross figure, it's better than last time. And we will end paint as well to kind of get the same feel as the other side. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, put that pen down and uh, hopefully it'll come out better. I've removed the framing one, so now let's pull those out and see how much paint actually come off with them. I love to add some teeth as well this way. Bit done there. There you go. Oh yeah, that's okay. We can do. We need to do a lot more teeth. 
flex the other side anyway, which we can do by hand, and those will cover some of the black area. That's overall much neater. Could do with few more teeth, and like I said, we'll have a go on the yeah. the front, definitely a lot more teeth compared to the other side, but much, much better results than last time already, as you can see. Apart from here, we didn't get too much pain being lift off, probably helped that it sat there overnight, should have probably do more coat or something, but never mind, it's good now, so I'll probably just leave it and let the missus do the hand thing, I don't know, I might have passed myself a little bit and then let her refine, but yeah. Pretty cool, kind of actually like it with less teeth there. <coughs> The black kind of faded with the tire nicely. Yeah, compared to the other side, the other side is a lot more going on around there. The rear is good, so yeah, it's just a question of putting some on, but otherwise, yeah. The rear is literally just putting up the front. Alright, well I'll crack on with that and I'll see you when it's all done. Alright, I think it's looking good. Wait, well, it's not the finish I wanted. And I still need the missus to go and refine some of the hand painted line. It's not symmetric either, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Not an easy job to do. Would have been better if uh, I had better pen probably, but overall, I think the look we were after is achieved and it being a rat, it, the job not being perfect, kind of make it fine. It'll get better as it edge as well. Yeah, to a lot of extent, it's too clean compared to the rest of the car. But anyway guys, that will be it for this episode. Uh, pff, the number of time it actually took me <laughs> to do this bad boy, it's, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, quite love it. I still need to clean the windscreen because obviously I didn't mask it well. And when I did some driving to France, uh, visibility was not optimal let's just say so much so that every time i stopped i took a plastic card and scratched a little bit so i could see better still went to france and came back fine but anyway guys if you enjoy the tour at episode and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe plenty more coming we are on episode three tons 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 more coming on that and the uh, s3 obviously um Anyways, sounds like I'm done talking, so I'm just going to go. Bye.